Etisola Nigeria is in deep crisis as its international partners have terminated a management agreement. The reason is the Nigerian firm's inability to pay back its more than $500 million loan from the $1.2 billion loan taken from 13 local banks. Chief Executive Officer at Salat International, Hatem Dorida, uh, said the exit will begin in three weeks' time. The new development will lead to dropping of Etisalat's trade name. What joining us now in the studio is the Executive Secretary of the Association of Telecoms Company of Nigeria, um, Ajibola Olude. And also joining me via Skype to analyze this issue is Benjamin Shemola, is the Chief Executive Officer of Certified Networks Limited. We're glad to have you gentlemen joining us at this time. Good to be here. All right, Benjamin, if you can hear me, I want to start there now. What do you make of the troubles surrounding the operations of Etisalat? It's not really trouble. Uh, it's long expected. Uh, that is because when you do business, there are terms and conditions of running a business, and then there's always a lifespan to a business, and the tweaks are up and down in, in business. And I think Etisalat has been caught up in this because of, uh, of so much of undue paid loans. So it's not really something that is strange, it's long expected. Indeed. Well, I, I, I don't know if uh, Ajibola takes that, if you, if you agree to his submission that this is not really trouble because people believe that uh, it is, it, it's really a new dawn in the telecoms, <laughs> telecom sector with this challenge being faced by Etisalat. I think all of them have to tighten up their belts. What do you think is happening with Etisalat with all of this development? Okay. Uh, for me, the crisis that Telesalat is going through may be repeat in other telecommunication um, uh, companies. And uh, the reason is that uh, they all have uh, loans which is uh, dominated in dollars and pounds. Mm -hmm. And um, but this loan was taken when the exchange rate was favorable. But today the exchange rate is not favorable. Right? These guys have to pay double you know and uh, i mean and um, uh, uh, it's not that they are charging the subscriber twice of what they are charging them why when they took the loan so if care is not taken this problem or this challenge may repeat itself in other telecommunication companies a very valid point there benjamin this point is really valid talking about the foreign exchange challenge uh, well be, be, before i ask you that and now that the directors have withdrawn their support from the nigerian entity and again asking that the brand name be dropped don't you think the company is dead what i said earlier that is long expected that i never meant that it's not a problem or that uh, it's not something bad. What I meant is that, you know, a number of us have been shouting that the federal government of Nigeria is doing nothing, practically nothing, to get this economy out of the mess that we are in. So when I said uh, we're expecting all this with Etisalat, what I mean is that as long as the funding of all these companies have been hampered with the climate of the economy that we have right now, then you, just like colleague said there, you are bound to have this done and repeated in other franchise. But let me say this about Etisalat. It's so sad that it's happening to them because they are one of the, the latest players in the market. They came much later than the others. Uh, but as it is right now, ask me a simple question. Which business can survive with the current economic climate where you have to to, to 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 spend so much to get so little and when the federal government i was expecting for example i shared with a number of my colleagues earlier this morning that in other development i uh, mean developed countries you will see government coming up with interventions see the way uh what's it called president donald trump came up to salvage the automobile industry the moment he came in the first within the first 21 days that was what he did. When you say that a, a particular sector is in comatose, what the government is supposed to do is not to fund and to give tax holidays to the gangotes of this world, while the other employers of labor like the Tisola, the MTN, and every other player in the sector are suffering. So we are having a big mess to deal with in our hands. Benjamin, thanks for that clarity, that, that clarification. But, but, but now, what, what do you think with the central banks um, taking over? Um, do you think there's anything they can do? You know, they've taken over the management of a TISALAT since last week. Do you think they can make any impact? 
what can the central bank do when the ships are down? If that is down, need fair no fall. Right now, the central government is coming back to come and cry wolf. Who created the problem to start with? Who made the exchange rate? Who was, uh, the, you know, you see the picture that we, we, we don't have money, and yet we are still spending money on recurrent uh, uh, expenditures. All these companies, the telecom companies are complaining, the huge sum that they spend is on infrastructural uh, uh, development. You know, they, they will come in to come and power their cell site, they come in to come and power their data center, they come in to do everything that the government is supposed to have, been, to have provided for the citizenry. So if, if the CPN is taking over a seller, it's like you taking over a dead dog. What can the dead dog do? Can it back out that it? Then let's wait and see and see what happened thereafter. All right, I'm coming back to you now, Benjamin. I still have a question for you. But, but, but indeed, the central bank's management, that's the former vice um, deputy governor, indeed, of central bank, took over the management of Etisalat. And a lot of people said, a lot of expectations, because they said the man is experienced, I think he's been in the sector, and all of that. I don't know what you think. Can anything be done? Uh, for me, you have to, first of all, to understand why CBN you know, took that decision. Go ahead. The reason why CBN took that decision is to minimize the incidence of non-performing loans, right? So that the crisis can be managed in a way that um, we will not have um, more incidence of um, non-performing loan. That is the reason why CBN took that decision. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see, the management of telecommunication company requires so it requires an experienced, you know, person. And uh, I, I, I want to believe that the new management will be able to take, uh, to make it a lot, you know, attractive to a foreign investor and local investor. Because it's very important, right? It is. Be Benjamin, finally, be be Benjamin, now, uh, a, lot of, a lot of points made there and, uh, you know, very valid. Now, with the co will the consortium of those banks ever get their money back in your thoughts? I'm not, I'm not a soothsayer or something. Uh, uh, getting back the money is predicated on performance. Now, in business, everybody goes into it to make profit. And just like my colleague said, the interest of the central uh, bank right now is not just about salvaging the company, but looking at the non-performing loan. So they also have their own hidden interest also there, so that you don't allow all these banks that are funded uh, the company to also just lose their money. But the question is this. What is the current earning power of an average Nigerian? Look at how all the, uh, the, the telecom companies have cried out to say that we are earning so little and we are paying so much. So for me, if you say central bank coming in, bringing a brilliant person to, to, to oversee the board, fine. But on what purchasing power, on what economic climate is it going to run? Benjamin, thank you very much for your time. It's always nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, just, just like I asked him, these banks need to get their monies back. Non-performing loans is then good for any bank. We know what happened to Sky Bank and some other banks lately. Now, what do you think? Do you think with all of this, they could get a headway? Uh, 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 it would be wrong for me to tell you that, okay, they are going to get their they are going to get their money back or not. But what I would want the federal government and CBN to do is to re, reinstate telecommunication telecommunication sector. Are you getting me now? Uh, to um, uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, they should allow telecommunication companies to assess dollars and pounds directly from CBN. You see. If care is not taken, we are going to have more, you know, debt in telecommunication sector. So the point there is that access to forex yes. is very important yes. in all of this. Yes. I must thank you, Ajibola Olude, Executive Secretary, Association of Telecoms Companies in Nigeria. Thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you very much.